I'd like to know what you're going to do when you retire from boxing. <laughs> I think, uh, I think he's probably taking the last count at the moment. I'll, I'll do my best to wake him up Just for sleep. you. sleep. That's all I'm going to do. That's all he wants to do when he retires. Now, when I retire from boxing, I really don't know. I want to say something right here. You all might, this might make you all think. Life is not really long. Let's say the average person 30 years old. If you're 30 years old, you are not but about 7 years old. How can I prove it? Add up all the seven, eight, nine hours you slept for 30 years. Out of 30 years, out of all the nights, last night when you went to bed and woke up this morning, you don't remember a thing. You've been unconscious for about eight years. If you're 30 years old, you slept about eight years. Okay. How much traveling have you done in 30 years? From the television station to home to another country to another city to school to church? You've probably traveled two years your life or spent just getting back and forth to where you're going. So there's eight years of sleeping, two years of traveling, there's 30 years out of your life before you accomplish anything. How long do you sit in school? In America, we stay in school from the 12th grade to, from the first grade to 12th grade. Same here? Yeah, virtually. Six hours a day? Yeah. Six hours a day for 12 years, break it down, you sit in the classroom for three years without leaving. Okay, two years of traveling, eight years of sleeping, three years of school. How many movies have you went to? How many wrestling matches? How much entertainment? How many movies, theaters, live plays, baseball games? Probably two years of entertainment. So by the time a man, you older people know him, bear witness what I'm saying, by the time you have children, by the time you have uh, made a way for your children, by the time you've paid for your home, you're pushing 60 years old. So life is real short. So you add up all your traveling, add up all your sleeping, add up all your school, add up all your entertainment, you've probably been half your life doing nothing. So what am I, I'll, I'm 35 years old, 30 more years I'll be 65. We don't have no more influence. We can't do nothing much at 65. Your wife will tell you that. So what I'm saying, when you're 65, when you're 65, ain't too much more to do. So. Did you know I'll be 65 in 30 more years? In those 30 years, I have to sleep nine years. I don't have 30 years of daylight. I have to travel back to America, take six, seven miles. All my traveling, probably four years of traveling in the next 30 years, about nine years of sleeping, television, movies, entertainment, about three years of entertainment. Out of 30 years, I might have about 16 years to be productive. So it's how we can all break individual lives down. What am I going to do in the next 16 years? What's the best thing I can do? Get ready to meet God. Owning real estate, going in business, teaching boxers, that won't get me to heaven. How many here believe there's a supreme being, believe there's a God? How many believe there's some power that made the sun, the moon, the stars? How many believe that this stuff didn't just come out here, somebody wiser than us made it? How many believe there's a God? How many believe there's not a God? All right. So, what I'm going to do when I get out of boxing is to get myself ready to meet God because my plane might blow up. Don't planes blow up in this country sometimes and crash? Don't people die every day? Uh, not okay. every day. It's a scary thing to think that I'm going to hell to burn eternally forever. So, what am I going to do? We I'm taking such a, I'm explaining what you asked me a question. You asked me questions I can't just answer like that. When I get out of boxing or when I'm through, I'm going to do all I can to help people. That's why I'm here with Johnny Walker. Here's a poor man came all the way to America. Here's a bunch of boys need some money, and somebody is calling me to help them. God is watching me. God, is, God don't praise me because I beat Joe Frazier. God don't give nothing about Joe Frazier. God don't care nothing about England or America as far as your wealth. It's all his. He wants to know how do we treat each other, how do we help each other. So. I'm going to dedicate my life to using my name and popularity, helping charities, helping people, uniting people, bring, people bumming each other because of religious beliefs. We need somebody in the world to help so make peace. So when I die, if there's a heaven, I want to see it. Because we live how long? 80 years? The odds are everybody in this room, some of you are going to be dead 20 years from now. Some of you are going to be dead 50 years from now. Some are going to be dead 30, some are going to be dead 60, 70 years. We're all going to die soon. 
And if you live to be, say, 125 years old, which we don't do, right? Let's say we live to be 250, and you can have sex for 145 of those years. You're going to come to end after that. So we don't have it about 80 years on Earth. This is a test to see where will we spend our life in heaven and hell. This is not the life now. Your real self is inside you. Your body gets old. Some of you go to look at the fridge, look old. you don't have no teeth. Your hair is leaving you. Your bodies get tired. But your soul and your spirit never die. That's going to live forever. So your body is just housing your soul and spirit. So God is testing us on how we treat each other, how we live, to see where our real home be in heaven. So this physical stuff don't last for so long. So my car, this building is going to be here when the man who built it dead. There have been many kings and queens of England. They're all dead. After this one is gone, another one will come. So we don't stay here. We're just trustees. We don't own nothing. Even your children are not yours, if you think I'm lying. Your wife is not yours. You die and come back a year later and go slip in your bedroom and see if your wife is by herself. See, you don't own your wife. You don't own your, I divorced my wife, you may have read about it, and my four children, they call another man daddy now. They don't see me no more. You don't own your children. You don't own your family. So what am I saying? The most important thing about life is what's going to happen when you die are you going to go to heaven or hell? And that's eternity. How long is eternity? Let's imagine. Take the Sahara Desert. There's a lot of sand on the Sahara Desert, right? Then take, imagine that one grain of sand represents a thousand years, and when you're in hell burning, when you die and go to hell, you're going to burn forever and ever and ever, no end. How long is that? Give you an idea how long eternity is. Take the Sahara Desert, and I told you to wait a thousand years. And every thousand years, I want you to pick up a grain of sand until the desert is empty. Okay, wait a thousand years, pick up the first grain. Wait another thousand years before you get the next grain. Keep that up until there's no more sand in the desert. Whew. You know how long it's just been. I mean, America's now but 200 years old. We got 800 more years to go before a thousand. So it just scares me to think that I'm going to die one day and go to hell. I'm on an airplane that might blow up. I'm always traveling. And to go to hell and God is going to judge my soul. The police, I might kill people. I might rob people. The authorities might not catch me. The FBI, Scotland Yard might not catch me. But when I die, somebody's watching me and keeping count. And I can't get away. And I'm going to burn forever and ever and ever. I'll go to heaven. So what am I going to do when I'm through fighting? I only have 16 years to be productive. Get myself ready to meet God and go to the best place. Does that make sense? Thank you.